Hello, my name is Colleen Clabby, and I run a healing center here in Mystic, Connecticut called the Mystic Gathering Center. Compassion, compassion in action, the CIA. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's a cousin to kindness for me. When I think of compassion, I think of the elderly. I think of hospice. I think of all of those caregivers that help. And no matter how grouchy or um, ill people can become, I think that is uh, the most um, wonderful thing to be able to help someone passing, passing over. That kind of compassion for me is the greatest of all. Um, and I was thinking uh, in meditation some time ago, the question came, is it possible to teach compassion? And it's a very good question. Is it something that we are born with? Is it something that we learn? Is it something that we never learn? I think that it depends on how we are, you know, we are taught. Um, <clears throat> again, again, kindness is a, is a great cousin to, to compassion. For me, compassion is a, is a feeling, it's a state of the art heart. And no matter what the situation or relationship, if you can feel kindness and a, and a kinship to whoever or whatever it is that you're doing or thinking about, then that is compassion. The compassion in action is then our, our language and our, um, how we go about it. So that's our walking, you know, walking this, the red road, walking this earth plane and how we do that and everything that we meet along the way. You know, an ant, a caterpillar, uh, a wasp through, the, <laughs> through your car window, uh, a very angry um, spouse or child, and then the elderly. So when we care for one another, it's how we care for one another. So that care, that compassion, and it's a, it's a huge uh, amount of freedom to, to have it. Can we teach it? I don't know. I don't know about that. I think it can be learned. Do we have to have it to begin with? I think so. I do. Because I think that's who we're, how, who we're made of, what we're made of. Thank you.